Hey everyone, Dan Takashi here. You guys have all heard the news, right? Tesla. Tesla going to get added to the S&P 500 December 21st. That's like a great Christmas present. What's going to happen in the stock after that? Is it going to crash? Is it going to keep going up? There's a lot of debate all over YouTube on this. And I think it's just fascinating. I think it's wonderful to be having uh, all this uh, awesome debate on social media. I want to give you guys my two cents. I'm a chart technician. I'm a former Wall Street guy. Please see the below description area as to who I am. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. I just started this year, Japanese and English channel. So I'd appreciate your support. Uh, so I want to go over the chart stuff here because there's a lot of fundamentals up, but this just it's all already in the news. So let me go over with you in a five to 10 minute video what I think is going to happen to Tesla stock and whether you should be buying or selling right now into this big event that's going to be happening soon. So uh, guys, right now, currently the time check is uh, December the 6th, 5.35 p.m. Uh, let's go right into the charts here. As usual, guys, if you don't understand my chart lingo, please see the below description area for my previous videos in the past. It's best you understand those first before you watch this. Otherwise, it will probably not be a very good use of your time. <laughs> All right, let's get right into it here. Tesla. So looking at the stock right now, this sucker has just gone wild uh, lately. It's gone up a lot. Uh, it's gone up here. We can see here about... Wow, look at this, 45%, humongous, big move, right? Uh, ever since about November 13th when this news was announced about being added. That's a big move, even for a stock like Tesla. Now, of course, guys, I mean, that's nothing compared to the long-term move of Tesla, which it's gone up about like 10x basically since here, uh, since the last, I don't know, just the last two years or so, roughly. I'm just taking a guess here. Roughly around the last two years, it's gone around 10x up. Uh, so 45% may not seem like a big deal, but still in the span of, let's say, less than one month. I mean, this is since November 16th. That's a pretty big move for this stock. Now, Let's do some chart analysis here. Let's do some technical analysis. What's going to be happening going forward from here? Uh, first and foremost, look, this is, you know, a breakout out of a flag. So I think that's a good pattern right here, right away. No, this was a bit of a flag pattern we saw here. This was consolidation. That's usually a good thing uh, after you see a flag and then it consolidates and then it just chooses a direction. Now it's choosing to go up. That's usually a good thing. Uh, going into volume here, let's see. The volume has been actually not that big lately. Interestingly, during this phase so the buying volume here is actually pretty small compared to let's say the buying volume that was happening before the stock split happened buying volume that happened before the earnings were announced in july uh right now the volume is very low here we see this 20-day moving average on the volume not very high at all looking at macd it's clearly in an uptrend and it's in like a vertical uptrend this is just, it's, it's almost straight vertical it's almost like a straight line which is nuts so it's going up quite fast here uh coin of going fast showing no sign to me that you know there's any sort of decline in the uptrend at the moment looking at the rsi it's around 75 not super overbought either uh clearly in an uptrend as well let's look at the bollinger band this is probably the one that if there is going to be some sort of sign yeah so that's sitting in the middle of its band as well so nothing here to me on the first glance shows that Tesla is overvalued, but let's do a little bit more analysis here. Let's see, uh, based on some positioning wise, let's see uh, positions, short interest ratio options. If there's a little bit more involved that we should be looking at. First of all, let's look at short interest ratio. Guys, I've said this before and over and over. Tesla is a stock that throughout history, at last the last five years that I've been watching, people either love the stock or they hate it. It's a very, very emotional stock. It's like Trump, like people hate him or they love him. <laughs> and because of that, uh, people, yeah, you know, I've, I've noticed that these very emotional stocks, the short interest ratio is very important to watch because people can get very emotional and start shorting the crap out of it. And then sometimes that will lead to what's called a short interest squeeze, as in people who are short have to come in and they have to buy back their stock because they're short to position. So interestingly, right now, looking at the Tesla short position right now, short interest ratio. It's at 27.90. It's a little bit higher than usual compared to average. And do note, guys, that usually when the short interest ratio gets close to 30 or breaks above 30, historically, it's actually been a good buying opportunity. As we can see here, this happened around the middle of July time. That was actually a great buying opportunity for this stock. Let's go here to the chart. I can show you middle of July time right around here. Uh, this is actually uh, beginning of July, end of June. It started going straight up from here. So we can see that right around coincided towards around towards the end of June here when short interest rates so it was getting very high and then when the stock started to go up uh you know people had to start 
covering their shorts. This is what's called a short squeeze. It's very dangerous to get involved in a short squeeze. So that's why I don't like shorting stocks that are uh, very heavily shorted. So this one right here seems like there's actually danger of it being short squeezed right now at the moment. Uh, let's look at some other stuff here. Let's look at the option space here. Let's look what see what's going on in terms of volatility. Volatility is a bit high right now, interestingly. So even though the stock is up, uh, volatility is quite high right now. And there's been a decent amount of options being pushed. Here. Oh, look at this. Right after the announcement of the uh, S&P 500 inclusion, we see the amount of volume here. You guys can see in this line here that's moving. This is the option volume. Tons of tons of options are purchased. So lots of call options are likely purchased here. Tons and tons and tons. I don't think anybody's going to be pur purchasing put options after an announcement like that. So likely probably lots of call options and then uh, volatility has been sorry implied volatility has been going up and this is meaning that people are buying more call options which pushes up the implied volatility premium looking at the skew it's around average normal levels yeah so yeah i guess some people are starting to buy a little bit more puts recently before that the skew was going straight down so it was just straight call buying meaning that this is the puts minus the call so if this is going down uh, to me that indicates that the call buying was probably large much larger than the put volume so it seems like there was before in the option space a little bit of euphoria not so much anymore right now it's calmed down a little bit but implied volatility is a little bit still high lastly i want to look at a google search trend because this is a great sentiment indicator how often are people google searching this thing it's great for tesla because you could see here it's actually near the peaks here of the stock august 30th and actually this is right around february 2020 so august and february this year you can see actually here that uh it was actually near a big inflection point. So right around uh, end of August here, it was right near the peak here. And then actually around February as well this year, uh, it was actually near near to peak. So when the stock is going up a lot, when there's a lot of, let's say, um, interest in the stock, people buying, I've noticed that the Google search goes up because a lot of people are buying it. Uh, and right now we can see that the Google search trend relative to history, it's kind of normal. It's not too high. It's not too high. It's not too low. So adding that up i don't really feel like that sentiment is too high either okay so taking us all into uh thought what is my consent what is my opinion on what i think you should be doing with tesla stock in your portfolio should you be buying selling do nothing shorting what's my opinion as usual guys investing is and always will be self-responsibility please make your own decisions at the end of the day and please write down your plans uh, this is just a sort of short-term analysis this is not long-term uh so do note guys um do i do short-term investing which is a separate account separate portfolio from your long-term investment uh short-term wise right now i don't think that right now tesla is going to crash uh, I don't recommend buying it either because it's already gone up 45%. And I don't like the fact that there's always there's already been a lot of call option volume. So the people that want to bet on Tesla going up, they've already bought more stock. They've already bought more stock and they've already bought more call options. There's a lot of call options being purchased here. So the incremental buying power, I don't know where it's going to come from because a lot of people, the people have already had plenty of time. They've had three weeks now to digest this news about the S&P 500 inclusion. People who want to buy into this this event have already bought so i'd say buying right here yeah, at least short term for the next couple of weeks it's a little bit risky at the same time i don't see a reason to short it because i don't see a sign of euphoria and the short interest ratio is too high so uh my opinion is to do nothing it's it is what it is for investing sometimes we do a lot of work we do a lot of investing uh, or in your case you just watch my video for 10 minutes but <laughs> either way so it, it is what it is i can't uh i don't want to tell you guys what you want to hear uh but i want to tell you what i think is the honest opinion and my honest opinion is right now short term do nothing on tesla let's wait to see what happens uh if it continues to go up and if the short interest ratio gets a little bit lower then it might be interesting for short right before the inclusion right before the event because then after the event it may go down a little bit so i'll continue to moderate and give you guys an update thanks guys for watching my video please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also please press the like button and uh smash that like button i would enjoy your support thanks guys and have a great day